call meeting to order then. Um, first item on the agenda is to review uh, and vote to approve meeting minutes from December 18th and December 23rd. December 23rd was that uh, meeting with the uh, mayor from the governor's office. Um, I moved over the minutes. I don't have any comments or changes to make. Motion to second. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Yep. Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, the vendor payroll warrants. I see <coughs> there. Okay. In the packet, any discussion? Okay. All right. Public comments. Are there any um, comments from the public that are related to items that are not listed on the agenda? I like to just say that there's, there's a survey going out. I think Lynn had a robocall today about the center school. Mm. Uh, there's a committee organized to look at options for use of the center school. So there's a survey uh, put together by the committee that's online so people can fill it out online or I think you can bring it here to the offices if you need to. So just to tell everybody yeah. that we're interested in your comments on the survey. Yeah. Yeah, it's not likely I did it today. Okay. Okay, anything else, Chris? No, nothing tonight. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda is a public hearing that was continued from our last meeting regarding installing utility poles. That application has been withdrawn, so we will not be continuing that hearing. I don't think we have to vote to close it since the thing is withdrawn. Has it been withdrawn permanently? Yeah, the resubmitting location. Yeah, we're going to resubmit. Because every time, if you change the location, right. you have to okay. resubmit. And the, the, the withdrawal and the, the, the new location is based on his conversation with Van Marker. So Correct. that's what the board had asked. Yeah. 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 So that's moving along. So they continue to. Great. Yeah. I noticed there's, there's, more, there's more sticks out there. Oh, yeah. You turn the telephone poles. I don't know which is which, but. Yeah. yeah. We'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The next item is to discuss the status of required improvements at both castaways. Um, I think we all have various materials. My uh, just kind of summary is that um, they would like to have a further extension beyond January 14th to uh, I think in the email they requested to the 30th of January to complete the walls. Um, is that, do I have that on right? Yeah. And there's a sort of a, a memo that was sent. Yeah. It came this afternoon. Before the meeting as to the progress and anticipated construction schedule. Yeah. And Mark Jacoby is here for Representing Waiting Investments LLC. Um, yeah, sure. Why? What has been done other, other than dig the dig the hole, remove a fence between? When was our our meeting? We, December what seventh? When was our first meeting in December until? Until today, that's all that's been done in one month? They've take out, taken out the fence, they've dug the hole. They've been cautious because of the wetlands. Um, there's weather issues. They have dug the hole. They're putting in the foundation this week. The rebar is there. The bricks, they're, the concrete bricks, they're expecting next week, and they anticipate uh, waiting. They have to wait for the stuff to cure, and then putting okay. up the wall. Yeah, I understand that. It's in writing here. But, but between our almost what four weeks have gone by since was it no was the first meeting in december uh the fourth, the fourth was our first meeting. first meeting where we uh told them the, the 14th is what we were looking at and, and we put it in writing in the, in the 18th and okay that's three weeks have gone by i hear what you're saying i can read what you can say here but to me, I, I don't see a whole lot of progress going on. You dug the hole and removed fence well. well how long does that take? A day, the most? I'm not sure about weather concerns, but I know that they, I just went and looked and they're putting in the foundation, they put the rebar there, and I don't know if there's any um, uh, problem with ordering the bricks or not, or the concrete blocks or not. Well, but 
we had a, we discussed it for the last two meetings and, and I guess I made a motion in the last meeting that our building inspector would uh, review it and tell us by the 14th. And uh, Nick was sitting right there, agreed to that, said, you have a contractor, we've been asked him, is he starting? You have, oh, we have a contractor in mind? Yes, we do. And all that, so, uh, I, I, I guess now, now we're, we're, we're listening to a contractor as to when he wants to build it. We gave Nick uh, already an extension to do it, and he agreed for it to be on the 15th. And, and now we have we have something else that's yeah. coming from a contractor. And to me, this isn't complete. You got to build a wall. There's more than just building a wall. You got to put a door in. You got to pull the locks. Yeah. There's no discussion of that. Are we going to be deciding? on the 20th, when that door is going in, when the I lock is going to be on, when, when the stockade fence is tied to to that block wall, there's also that requirement, you know, that the stockade fence has to abut, join the, the block wall. You can't leave a gap in there. Okay. Well, that isn't discussed here. We're beyond the 20th or the, thir or the 30th, whatever you proposed. To me, it's not a complete schedule. Well, I don't know what's happened with the weather. I don't know with the with the um, holidays and everything. It's a bad time of year. I know that, but I'm not making excuses. I'm just you know, trying to get it done. We're trying to, you know, take into mind the, the wetlands and being as cautious as possible um, to get it completed so it looks nice and it does what it's supposed to do. Go between now and the 14th is what seven days. Well, I mean. They can go over that, it's just that they can't stay open after the 14th. Well, yeah, they that's the option. They have to be closed and then you know, finish it on the time schedule. I'm personally not inclined to grant another extension, given that they've had the entire month of August, September, October, November. They were they asked for an extension to go into November. They waited three weeks into a four week extension before they even apply for a building permit. They are not taking their conditions of their license seriously. I think finally sometime in November they woke up and realized they need to do this. I think, um, you know, it's, and we've been really, really patient. This is like the third extension they got was to yeah, on January 14th and when we granted that one, I said not one minute more. I think maybe more than one person here said not one minute more. And I am not inclined to. Uh, I'm not inclined to grant to vote to grant them another extension. I think they can get this done if they have to close down for a few days. If they can't get it done by the 14th, then they have to close down for a week to get it done by the 20th. Then that's the risk that this businessman took by waiting almost four months before even applying for a building permit. And that's, so, that's, I'll be repetitive if I keep talking. Brian, what's the process if we, if we don't grant this? Okay. There's a hearing, correct, or no? To no, until, no, no until the 14th. They wait until the, the, well, the 15th. If they are 15, open on the right. 15th, then they are out of compliance with the conditions. Right, but I thought that, uh, then at, at, starts. at one meeting we talked about if, if they didn't, if they're out of compliance, there's a hearing about closure. How, do they just only about the only if they're operating? Only if they're operating. But so if so, it's just yeah. so I understand what the what 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 the what the options are here that we would see on the fifteenth. If we don't grant this, yep. on the fifteenth they are then out of compliance. They're operating without a license. Yes. Right. So yes. but, that means if, if they're not operating. They're okay. But right. is that accurate, Brian? Because I thought yes. there was something else beyond that. No, if they're not operating. They're okay. But if they do operate, then they're out of compliance. There would be a hearing. And then what? And then it would be similar. If, 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 they're, 
it would be a violation of the license, so we'd, we'd handle it like any other violation okay. of any other alcohol license. So it would be a, it would be a notice period. That, that, uh, there'd be a notice period where they receive notice of violation. That they have whatever we need, seven days of hearing and go through the process of determining whether violation exists or not. Okay, I, I understand the frustration. I really do, and. Um, I, I think there's some things that are out, especially this time of year, that are out of our hands. Um, I, I know that that needs to be built, but we're not using that area at all for anything. And, um, and, and I understand, <coughs> I understand it was part of the license process, but I would ask a little indulgence to get this done, especially at this time of year. But, but this time of year was also in August, it was also in September, it was also in October. I mean, it, it, there's always a reason. There's, there's always a reason why it's excuse, happen. actually. I don't think there's a reason. An excuse. Well, whatever semantics are used, I, I just. Uh, there's, just the, there's just the risk he took when he put this off until the end of November mm -hmm. to get the building permit. And uh, I think we have been very indulgent in expanding, extending it uh, three times for <coughs> not quite a total of three months. Total of probably two months, plus or minus a week. Um, I understand. We've already read it, so I, it, that's where I stand. I might be on the extreme. We even gave him advice on here's what I would do tomorrow if I were you. I, I totally understand that. And they didn't do it. I'm just asking for a little more indulgence is all I'm asking. It's, it's a business that's trying, that, that I think that's done a good job here. There hasn't been any complaints. Um, since I think they've all, I don't know of any complaints. Uh, I think they're trying to do a good job and I just would ask a little more patience till the end of the month. I have no beef with the way they operate the business. They're Thank having you. complaints. And but they're trying to do the best they can, yeah. and, 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 I, and as, I, as I said, I understand the frustration. They, they, they take our piece at best tertiary. Uh -huh. it, 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 the, the requirements that we place upon them is at best tertiary yeah. in terms of what they, where their prioritization list mm -hmm. falls. And, 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 and it's just not. Um, so uh, I'm not going to enter a motion regarding this. Are either of you going to? Um, enter a motion on an extension. No. I'm going to go back to what we had in the last meeting in the minutes. Okay. That's our position. Okay. All right. And so. so the bottom line is that you want it done by the 14th? 14th. Yeah. And if they're not done by the 14th, they um, cannot operate? They can, they can open when the wall is complete and has been. Yeah. If they are certified, whatever it is, by the building inspector. And you didn't see the note that the building inspector is happy with what's going on. Yeah, okay. he's not said that the wall is up in place. Okay. So get this straight the 14th, if they're not done the 14th and the 15th, they have to close. And they have to close until the until wall is completed and approved by the building inspector. And there's a, right. and whatever the occupancy is, I don't know what the building inspector provides, is that. I guess right. until they are in compliance right. with the conditions of their licenses. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All righty. Um, the next item we discussed at the last meeting the uh, reconstruction of the sidewalks and installation of crosswalks on Chestnut Plain Road, um, where we put in some questions and comments to be discussed with the engineer. My understanding is that. Discussion has not happened. It's going to be this coming week. Yeah. Um, so I don't really know if we need to take up more discussion of the sidewalks since we kind of put all of our questions in and we don't have any new information. All right, Keith and I are going to be with Sarah next week. Yeah. Okay. Um, may I ask you a question? Uh, sure. Um. <laughs> yeah. uh, <coughs> I'm here.
here actually for this uh, for that item. Oh, okay. For this very item, and um, because when uh, Brian and Keith had their very open session, there was plenty of information about the sidewalk relocation and about the crosswalks, which are pretty much where we recommended putting them when the Conway School did their study five years ago, but. There, there was no elevation of the crosswalks or information about the lighting connected with the crosswalks. Um, so Brian had asked that the Historical Commission express an opinion, <laughs> and we'd like to know what the plan is. I mean, what we've seen looks fine, but we'd like to see it. So should we plan to come to the next meeting, do you think, or is that? Yeah, I, I can. I, I'll share with you before the before the next meeting. Then. Okay. Well, what, what yeah. we get back from Sarah. Because I know raising the sidewalks was something that I had. My, raising the sidewalks was something I had asked about. Um, I don't know if you, you happen to know the historical commission is against raising sidewalks or not. To basically make us no sidewalks. Sorry, crosswalks. Crosswalks. I said the wrong word. That crosswalks being um, raised would be like having some some nice little speed bumps that people who will often talk about. Um, well, see, is a problem. when <laughs> when we had all the open meetings yeah. for the Conway School study, which had Fred came to a couple of them, maybe yeah. he came to all of them. In fact, um, we actually had a lot of negative input. I'm going back four years. <coughs> the same people live in town as lived here four years ago to the idea of speed bump. At, at any rate, I don't, rather than get into details. Uh -huh. There just wasn't any information about what a crosswalk would constitute, and there yeah. are lots of open questions. You know, is the lighting motion activated? Is it button activated? Is there no lighting at all? And yeah. Oh, and there's no and there's no agreement. Some people are dead set against any lighting. And I, some I, I, I've heard that point of view. I sure would light it myself. I don't think it makes no sense to not have some kind of lighting or something motion activated or. I, I, I myself think we should have something. Now I'm speaking for myself. Either a button, like the one that is in by Red Euphoria in, in Northampton, where you push a button and the light goes on for a while, or motion activated, just not on all the time. Right, not all the time. And, and, and not, that, not that island in 116 as you're going down. <laughs> you know, or or maybe put the lighting in the road as opposed to signs. Yeah, I don't know, but I think I think a lot of people and the, and the neighbors probably would like to actually see what is being proposed because Crosswalk doesn't give enough information. Right. right. Is, is there some kind of software that is available? I mean, it's sort of like software if you're trying to design 3D oh, rooms sure, in your house. Sure. There's got to be software that we can see 3D images and, and virtual reality, for lack of a better term, of what this is going to look like. Uh, what's the crosswalks going to look like? Yeah, or different options. Or what, what about this kind of crosswalk? You know, yeah, door A, door, door one, door two, door well, three. The consultant should do that, should yeah. Yeah. have yeah. that. That's the sense I can use here. Or find yeah. it, make it available. Yeah. Okay. All right, because we're throwing darts right now. I will check in with Brian and okay. return. Yeah. Sorry to drag you down here, Don. It's an egg. I, I love having the public. <laughs> Chestnut Plain is well represented tonight. Yes, yes. there you go. <laughs> How are you? All right. Okay. Well, if we can move on to uh, the new business. Um, the first item on the new business is the 2020 Police Department budget uh, regarding the injured on duty insurance proceeds. And maybe I'll turn that over. Ryan, yep. to uh, explain what we need to vote on. Right, so this is just quick. I wanted to bring you guys up to speed down. So we had, a, we had an employee out of work for a period of time, um, which is listed on the sheet here, yeah. August 27th to December 1st. Um, so the general rule is that when we get um, revenue or, or reimbursements, unless there's a specific statutory authorization that allows the money to be put into a special revenue account, we can't, we didn't put it in the general fund. And while we have an insurance insurance proceeds reimbursement account, that the statute only allows us to do that for fire or other property damage. But there is something that was adopted in 2016. There was statutory authorization that was adopted in, 20, in 2014 or 2016, the Municipal Modernization Act. It created a, uh, or 
uh, special revenue account, a revolving account for injured on duty insurance proceeds. But it's a local option. The town hasn't adopted it yet. So that's one of the things that will be brought at the next special town meeting or annual town meeting okay. so that we can adopt that so that the insurance, so we can pay out of the account and then we can uh, take money into the account. But without that, we need to, without that, the money that was paid um, for the salaries for the injured employee had to come out of the regular police department budget. So the police department budget spent an additional almost $9,000 to cover those shifts. So while we have received that money, it's gone into the general fund. Um, so the long, long and short of it, short and long of it, whatever that saying is, um, the police department's out $9,000 in its budget currently. Mm -hmm. And the money is in the general fund, but we can't get it because we need an appropriation. Yeah. Um, so at the next annual special town meeting, I would suggest one of the things that we also do is is appropriate that nine thousand dollars back into the police department budget. We also have the reserve fund that that can be used at the at the the authorization of the of the finance committee. But we only have twenty thousand dollars in that reserve fund, and then taking out half of it for a single uh, instance, I don't think is wise at this point halfway through the year. Um, so, are we allowed to? vote tonight to have this money transferred? It would take... Or would, does that have to happen at a special town meeting? Um, it has to happen at a special town meeting. Okay. I guess I'm just wondering, we're looking for guidance from the board as to whether we think that's a good way to go. Because if it is, then we'll put it on a special town meeting. Or if it's not, then we'll have to yeah, yeah, I mean, issue yeah. a reserve fund transfer. What, what's the downside of, of like adopting this Particularly, that we've not adopted a state law, basically. We have not adopted it yet. So, well, what's the downside of adopting that? I don't think there's any downside to adopting <coughs> the law. And it sounds like it might be a good thing to do to put on either special or an annual town meeting. Yeah. Um, but there, you're saying there is a way to do this without uh, it be a reserve fund transfer. Right. Um, What's the downside of doing this by a reserve fund transfer? Um, well, would you? So we have we have twenty thousand dollars in our reserve fund account. So it would use about half. Of it. it would use about half of it. Yeah. And then there's some other unanticipated expenses we can talk about. Yeah. But it would be I'm using half of it temporarily, right? Because that reserve fund would get reimbursed. That reserve fund would would we would reappropriate that as part of the fiscal year twenty one budget. Because. But next year's budget. Yeah. It, I mean, it sounds like this is not necessarily urgent, urgent that we need to pass something at this meeting. And we were planning <coughs> a special town meeting sometime in February. Right now. Yep. And so if we were to adopt that bylaw in February, we could make the transfer at some point after that. And it would still be in this fiscal year, and it would still solve Jim's problem. I mean, it didn't sound like this needs to be done. I didn't mean, see any, this needs to be done in 48 hours or there's going to be a crisis. I mean, at some point, they will need the money, right? At some point before the end of the fiscal year. Before the end of the fiscal year, year, but if we yeah. act in February, then we could just be, okay, yep. in, at our first meeting in March, say, if it gets that far. Okay. Um, uh, do the, do the, the transfer through that, uh, uh, the law that we would adopt, presumably assuming it's adopted. If not, then it's got to be a reserve fund transfer. I mean, it seems like there's no downside to doing it that way, but with the reserve fund transfer, it might be there might be a downside to that if something else comes up in the sort of the twenty thousand dollar category. Right, and the reserve fund, the reserve. So to spend money on the reserve fund, it, follow, it takes finance committee approval. Yeah. That's it. To, oh, to, oh, so spend, we don't want to spend additional right. money we at a special town meeting out of the general fund. We'll so this seems like it's... Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's move on to the next topic. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess the, the thing I'd like, yeah, like to say is this is assuming he's going to spend all his, the money in his budget. And I guess I'd like to know that. Is he on schedule to spend all the money? If he's got money left over in the budget at the end of the year, we're not going to do this. He's got money to cover it. What has he been spending so far? I mean, is he on schedule? And 
and look in their prior years. Is he spending all the money he has in, in his budget in prior can, years? We can look before we uh, I guess I'd like to know that. Otherwise, we're giving money there. Transfers that may not be necessary. And then at the end of the year, you're going to have a surplus. Well, yeah. it's, it's there, if not spent, but uh, mm -hmm. I guess we're taking an action that's not necessary. I guess I'd like to know that information before. Sure, you can see the right. what the spend, the user spend rate is. Yeah. Yeah. The end in the future it gives us and, a And if, if you don't, if you don't, the other part of it, if we don't give him this money, how does that impact his budget? I mean, does it impact his budget? It's the question. I know, I mean, is he not having extra shifts or, or he's not uh, buying something? I don't know what, what account it comes out of, but. Yeah, uh, should call a salary account. Salary account, whether he won't hire as many part timers on weekends or whatever, or. Uh, I don't know. That's, if I had to guess, yeah. That why would wouldn't we, what, but why wouldn't we use, um, am I missing something? Why wouldn't we use the, the injured insurance proceeds? That's what it's there for. It is, but it's only part of it, the way I read this. Well, it went into a different account. You stepped out right. when Ryan was talking. That went in, right? right? The insurance proceeds went to the general fund and not to, to the police department account. And to do that, we need to take an action at a special town meeting to, to allow that to happen in the future. I mean, I see, I, I mean, I see all of that, bro. I, I, you know, so just, I mean, if it needs to be covered, it needs to be covered. Yeah. But if not, because part-time officers are not cheap. Right. So if that's where the money's going, that's where the money's going. Right, but we don't know, I guess. Well, yeah, I, I, know, I understand it's possible that he's not on track to spend all of his budget, um, but I don't think that's a reason not to adopt this particular law, because that adopting it gives us some flexibility. That would mean we don't need a special town meeting to make a, a, a funds transfer. Right. I kind um, of agree with you. So I, I, think we, we, I think we should put that on the special town meeting and then Maybe before you make the actual transfer, we say, hey, let's double check the impact on this budget. I sort of feel like it's two different items, right? One is, should we adopt this, this thing that will help give us more flexibility? Uh, and then the second thing is, should we use that in the case of this um, uh, officer um, being out a reimbursement from insurance? But this special law that we'd we be acting on, <coughs> is, is that? Pertain to all town employees? Or are we no, just talking is, police? This is specific to injured on duty insurance proceeds. Injured on duty for who? Uh, police, police and fire. Police and fire? Does yep. it cover water? Nope. Or anybody else or anybody here in the office? Police and fire have outstanding lobby groups behind. Okay, but anybody in the office? Nobody here in the office either? Okay. No, in, injured on. Um, no. So that would be the way, if we do go that route, it would be written for all, uh, not just the police department, but everybody. Police and fire. Police and fire. Okay. Right. And have we used this before? Has this, has people been injured before? No, no, no. Uh, we've had to do it the, uh, the, so old, the old, the old, the old fashioned fashion way. way. We've had to do it the old fashioned way, where you have to move <coughs> money around with we'll the town around. meeting, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so do you feel like you have? Yep. Advice? Okay. All right. Next item is the um, uh, District Local Technical Assistance Program. Uh, we talk about what you might try to apply for there. And printed is some comments that uh, Fred uh, brought in, and then I just brought mine with me. Yeah. Was this a homework assignment that I missed somewhere? Um, yeah, probably. Um, so it is, I did contact for COG and asked them if it just so happened that we didn't make final decisions until the 29th, if that was okay if I submit on the 30th and they were fine with that. So. Yeah, so we could not come to a conclusion tonight, but we should be ready to come to a conclusion in the next meeting. But if we come to a conclusion tonight, that's fine as well. Right. Um, Brian. You probably looked at this more closely than I have. Is anything surrounding uh, open space plans in here that we could help cover the cost of redoing our open space plans? There is one page, uh, four. Four. Five. Yeah, and I was, at that point, Sorry, I was getting five. confused that it is, we've talked before about open space, 
and yeah. having, having having some grant funding. Was that the same program, or was there a different program it that was we talked about? Uh, what we had talked about was the <coughs> conservation assistance for small communities um, grant. And that, which is a different grant. Which is a different grant. Okay. I, if we could get, let's say we could get ten thousand dollars worth of value for this one, and we had ten thousand dollars from the conservation assistance, then we wouldn't need to spend the ten thousand dollars in CPA funds. Huh. Right. Okay. But my guess is because that was one of the ones I checked. My guess is yeah. that based upon previous funding amounts from this program, it's not going to come close to ten thousand dollars. It's going to come closer to two thousand dollars. Which I'm not. Yeah. Turning my back on. I'm just saying that we will. Yeah. It will make. It will make something easier. Mm -hmm. It'll just diversify our revenue stream. But yeah. that's my. And the open space recreation plan update was that going to be done by the first time? <coughs> that's the so, option. Right. Because because it seemed to me because this is stuff that we want. Basically, anything we check in here, and if we were to get it, is something the first time got to do for us. If we were not planning it, the first time to the open space and recreation plan, and we were planning to do it some other way, then that I, I just don't know. I don't know um, enough to say whether they're the right place to go. They may well be the right place yeah. to go for that. I think they do. I think they they, they, they may well be. One. So they may well be the right place to go. I mean, this is just a diversified yeah. But that one was one I had checked as well. I, of course, checked out EV charging stations because it's still not that bad. Um, and I don't know what the status is, but we just did all that work to get our wellhead taken care of. <coughs> uh, do we need a wellhead protection plan to protect all of that work that we've just kind of done? So I, I, that one was one where I, I do not know. And so I put a check mark in to make sure they ask. <coughs> Okay, well, let me read the ones that I've submitted here. Uh, okay. So we've been working on a, I did these about a month or two ago, so it may not be still current, but repair capital improvement plan, uh, I guess we started some, we reorganized the capital improvement committee. Uh, we're moving ahead, to, I don't know if there's any need anymore right now, but uh, a hard time getting people to, to be on the committee. Okay, the second one, housing, uh, housing planning, consider increased density. We've got several properties in town. Some are already sold, some not, some will be. Uh, I think we, we need some kind of guidance as to how we're going to deal with, with these properties for, for say, housing, uh, future housing, whether we need to change the bylaws. Uh, to allow multiple use, uh, whether it's elderly or low income. We, we don't really have that now, other than the historic what commission has said they relaxed some requirements for, for historic properties, but some of these are not historic properties, and some are, are not a property, it's a vacant lot. I, I think it would be helpful to know how we should be treating these in the future, whether it's a zoning change or to allow to allow a multiple use, multiple dwelling units on properties. We don't have that. It all comes back to the planning or, or zoning uh, board decisions. I think it may be useful to have a, a bylaw to explain that. We have it for cluster development, I think. There's something in there that was, that was passed a few years ago. Uh, I think something needs to be for, for more increased density than what we have today. That's where I'm coming from with that. Traffic engineering enhancements, again, the Christian Lane intersection. Yeah, they did the traffic uh, study, uh, and they concluded there's no, it doesn't justify a traffic signal there all the time. Well, that wasn't the only reason we asked for a traffic study, I guess, to see what improvements could be made. I don't know what else is happening with that. Uh, with that study, uh, we haven't seen the report yet for the, County for their hazardous intersections either, but uh, I think it's worth looking at what else can be done there besides the traffic signal. Uh, then we get this sidewalk 
snow and ice removal policy in the center of town is not only what we're planning this year, but in the future, I guess. Should we have a policy on that? What is it? What are surrounding towns doing? And what, what, what should we be considering for that? Yeah, is policy the right word or is bylaw? Well, policy or bylaw or whatever you want, you want to call it. Yeah, among the ones that you wrote down, that was the one that was intriguing me the most. Because I feel like it's an area where we, we just don't know very much and we could possibly do the research ourselves, um, see what other towns okay. have, but it's hard to, but th that might be something where they could do that. <coughs> oh, I also checked out culvert assessments under climate resiliency. Okay. Remembering how they, the flooding over on Long Plain Road had been occurring more, more uh, frequently. As I look at this, I wasn't sure that color, that color my eye, but I wasn't sure that that would be taken care of it in the MVP grants because culverts are such a big part of that where we wouldn't have to right. take one of those rows. Yeah, that, that was okay. an item in there, I think. Um, I admit, I, I think the, and I know I'm going to get laughed at, the Pond Inner Habitat Corridor is, is an interesting one because we know we've got issues there. Um, and that surrounds the same building and all those kinds of things. Um, I think that Brownfields Redevelopment Support <clears throat> for the few areas that we have for Brownfields. Um, what, what section are you looking at? I'm looking at Economic Development. Page one. Yeah, Page okay. one. Yeah. Um, I, I think that we should do everything we can to clean up brownfields for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is, again, sustainability, but also uh, future economic The first brownfields is the uh, former town uh, transfer station? The town transfer town. station. There may be other brownfields. There's others, there's others I'm aware of, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, a small town housing working group, I think, is interesting. Again, the, the, the challenges that small towns face with, with housing are so different and they're never addressed. Uh, that's on page two. I had nothing on page three that, that, that caught my eye. Uh, the EV charging station I, is, a, is a big one for me and also the um, exploring the feasibility of continued work to establish new shared services. Uh, all of the above. The open space and restoration plan update and the rural policy plan implementation. So I have a long list, but they're all important. We can only, we'll only get one, correct? Well, we, we choose our top three at the top. Yeah. But they, they won't necessarily fund all three. Right. Okay. So, what are our cross references here? <coughs> well, it sounds like there's some overlap there with. Um, uh, a small town housing committee and housing planning considering increased density and it's, that's sort of like one possible solution that a housing committee could look into and see we, do we need to change our by the zoning bylaws do we need to change now, that seems like that's <coughs> um, that's one at least where I hear a common interest right, right. between the two of you is that, uh, and I think those are uh, good things as well there was crossover with EV you and me. You and the EV, yeah. Um, have you seen that before? I don't think it was funded. Well, yeah. Well, okay. Not for this, but okay. Right. Um, and, and honestly, I think looking at snow and ice removal policies, I don't know if that's a thing that we need this kind of technical assistance for, but um, it is something that we need to do within the next. Um, probably before the end of the budget season because that's getting the, the sidewalks will be there in all likelihood this summer and then we need to sort that out. So this, it might actually be more urgent than this grant program. Is that? I, I think the time on that is short. Ish. Yeah, our, yeah, for us. We for us to, to, to come to some resolution in terms of Yeah, we need budget. to come to resolution before the, they're likely to be able to get the work done. So I, while I like that one, I think we might not be able to, might not be practical to do it here. So, so 
income on housing. So if we, so if we include that as, a, like, I think they had some specific wording here, which doesn't quite match your wording, but uh, it's, uh, where's the housing? Well, there's sort of three boxes there. Housing planning implementation. Um, housing production plan. Housing um, needs assessment. Or a small town housing working group seems like a really flexible thing to me. It's under, it's all under stakeholders. And yeah, we'll just have to check one of those three boxes. It seems like that's the most flexible. Uh, uh, yeah, that the would bottom, the third one. That would include the other two, yeah. That would include the issues um, you bring up about density okay. and whether it's a city right. that's a, a, what, what kind of a change do we need to accomplish? Uh, maybe better density on, and we know it's already happening for the blue schools, so I feel like we don't need to include the specific places. Well, we don't decide on the blue school, they have to come to the planning board for approval to change. Okay. Sure, but I think they're, I think they're, they're on their way though. There's some, uh, we've got a developer who said he's going to put a house. Right, but, but it, it's still his planning board and he's probably seeking approval for for what he's planning to do. Sure, but yeah. that's it's it's on its way now. Well, it's you so think you think it's ahead. going to you think it's not going to happen because of something the planning board will do with the zoning board. May may not. I can't say one way or another. But, okay. Well uh, then. I That's not the kind of problem I can <coughs> put money into. Well, it's, it's right? also the, the uh, no. the and the center school. We don't know what's going to happen with that. That's still being kind of discussed as whether that should be housing should be something else. But there's certainly there's plenty of, of scope to talk about yeah. increased density in appropriate areas. Right. And and so, without being as specific as. Well, you know. As okay, here, well, then suddenly that uh, small town housing working group yeah. can talk you, about yeah. when you know w when is it appropriate to have yeah. some higher density, and okay. um, so so it seems to me that might be uh, a place for us to put our little magic marker down and, um, and check that one. So that's one, yes. or not one one, but that's. that's one of them. One of them. Yeah. Um, I, I, I really do think the EV charging stations, it's also an easy one. And Let's assume that where the brownfields exist really isn't that big a secret. It may be a secret to to some people, and it's, but it's, but it's, I don't think we're opening. I don't I don't think we're introducing something that isn't knowledge isn't 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 part of the. the it's not classified information. Is right. that what you're trying to Thank say? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Because it says to provide site site uh, site specific technical assistance to assess clean up and or redevelop a brownfield site with property owner support. Okay. So it, it, with the amounts of money they give, I'm guessing assess might be the only thing that gets done. Uh, I, I know clean up itself is expensive. Yes. They're sure. unlikely to give us enough money to do a clean up. Um, right. But if there's an assessment, especially assessment. regarding development, you know, <coughs> something, you know, so it sounds like, like you're saying, Brian, even the, the small amount of money we're likely to get if it were funded would not be enough to do much in way of assessing, cleaning, or redeveloping, or even I mean, maybe proposing a, redevelopment. Maybe a phase one sort of desktop assessment, but and you, you could do that. Right. You can do an assess, a, a simple assessment, but, but yeah. Yeah. it's it's at least not kicking the whole can down the road. It's kicking it's the part of the can. It's giving the can, can, uh, 
a slightly less of a kick than we otherwise would. Yeah, I mean, and and, and cleaning out brownfields is typically done in, in economic redevelopment, and a, and a, somebody with an idea in deep pockets is going to cover those costs typically. Uh, and there are also oftentimes money's available down the road, unless you're the Housatonic River in Pittsfield, and then that's a whole different thing. So now as I come up with it here, maybe the Asian Dementia Friendly Community Planning. I saw that one too, and uh, I was thinking of checking the box, and, and but I forgot. To, to, our senior, yeah. to our senior center, I mean, what that applies to having a process of how to address the needs of the senior center and where and who's going to do it and when and all that. Public assessment and action plan for the for the town, while well, it have to be with the other the two towns like this, right. doing it as a regional uh, When I read that, I didn't see it as something for the senior center. Well, where else would you do age, age friendly? Yeah. Well, I conducted age and dementia friendly community planning process. Uh, age and, and senior level. What's and then including that? application to the AI. Network development of an assessment and action plan for the town. <laughs> That sounds like it's in the town. Like, you know, would we know we're going to have, I don't know, a certain number of years, we'll have a certain number of dimension, dimension people on those sidewalks. We, the we, best we can do is we know how many older people we're going to have, and we know what percentages of those seniors typically uh -huh. attain some level of dimension. Yeah. But yeah. it's well, an inexact science. But right. looking at how to, how to accommodate that in the future, I mean, no, we know what we, yeah. we need to do something different right. than what we're doing now. We're doing right. more of what we're doing, and to involve right. the other two towns and, and to develop a plan. Right. How we're going to yeah. do that, rather than kicking the can down the road. And right. Very true. The, the, I, yeah, the one thing, the reason I didn't check that one was because the first thing it said was to conduct uh, a community planning process, which just makes me think that a real plan is way down the road. If you're just talking about developing a planning process, well, what I can do. So, is I, so that's why I just I went past it at that right. point, thinking it's not impactful enough. I can check to see if they would, because, and again, these are templates, obviously, right. and they're offered to towns that historically that most towns do senior stuff on their own. They're not part of a of a consortium like we are. Right? Yeah. So, I can ask. Oh, ask the other two. If, or no, ask if the COG would consider doing something without us having to take one of our three. Does that make sense to you? Because the other towns are going to have to, to, to say yes if we do it in this process. But maybe right. they would do a, a, a special extra because we're already collaborating. I'm just throwing that out. Well, they've, they've done a housing study here a year or two ago. The COG did that, I know, because it's been online. I don't know if they addressed the age in, in senior housing. I know the Board of Health has done some work on yeah. aging in place. Yeah. And, and the partnership is Valley Neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, so. And you have them I don't know how much of that would indicate what part of it that we'll find out by asking Fran. Yeah, so, uh, yeah you can ask Fran, is there something that FERCOG can do to support them? Um, so it might be worth applying yeah, that question. Question. I mean, you can get so, I mean, aging in place, driverless cars. That's, that just is all about aging in place. Could, could you bring it up at your like, next, yeah. next meeting with the, with the what, what do you have, board of oversight? Yeah, yeah but I'll also, bring it up, I'll also bring it up with, with, with Linda. Whether so the other two towns want to get involved? Or just they, bring it up separately as well. Yeah. Right. Um, do you have a, do you have Something to add, sir? Oh, I thought you might have a pun. <coughs> no, okay. Yeah. All right, so it sounds like uh, small town housing and EVs, and we're not undecided on a third, but we might get uh, some more information before the next meeting. Okay, so we think about a third one. Okay. Then make that decision at the next meeting. Sure. The next meeting's the 29th, right? 29th. And what, do, what are we looking at for deciding? Uh, a third one. Right, I know, but which? 
one oh. senior housing was that one and then that's one possibility that's but what are the other possibilities i, I went to for, I went brownfield well the first yeah and then uh, brownfield was another possibility was I, no i was talking about the, the the two that we have better consensus on is the small town housing and the electric vehicles right charging station and then there was for the third one uh we're thinking about um uh, age for dementia friendly communities, <coughs> brown fields. Um, and I think that was, those were the ones that, that I think we should look at. You were going to look into uh, whether there could be some things done uh, regarding age and dementia friendly community planning, since we already have a regional right. uh, a boo for our, uh, for our COA, no, for our um, senior center. And then, uh, so it may, may be that it's worth putting in a year. Well, and actually, the COAs are now working much more collaboratively than they have over the past several years, and that's separate from the senior center at yeah. some level. So that's right. That's right. Okay. I'll, I'll look into it because we're meeting next uh, Tuesday anyway. Okay. All right. So are we ready to move on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can decide the next thing. We can decide the next thing, but Brian's at least got our initial. Yep. Okay, I think item C we should table because uh, it was to accept the resignation of Lois Hunt, but she's changed her mind and just does not want to resign. So I think we should just table that. Um, so uh, the last one to discuss and vote to set the mileage reimbursement rate for calendar year 2020. If I understand, it's actually gone down by half a cent. Uh, from the IRS, and we normally are adopting what the IRS recommends. Does it make sense to be different from what the IRS recommends? So, uh, I would hear a motion. I would motion. Second. Okay. Uh, moved and seconded to put uh, our mileage rate in line with the IRS for 2020. All in favor? Yep. Yeah. Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, time to administer your updates. All right, Williamsburg Road Bridge Project that went out to bid today. Um, and bids are due back February 11th. So, uh, okay. February meeting, hopefully we'll have a recommendation as to who that contractor will be and how much it will cost us. Yeah. Um, joint budget meeting schedule, I included that in your packet again. Yeah, uh, they might definitely so have those. That's the same as it was before. I think that I think the dates are the same. I moved around, had to move around some of the the topics based on the yeah. availability of those. But Brian, what's the what's covered under general government again? Um, lots of pretty much all the, the, all the smaller the boards and committees, yeah. select like board, town building. Treasure collector. Senior center or no? Senior center is under uh, cultural recreation services. Okay, and that's, where is that? February 18th. Uh, February 18th. Okay, because I will not be at the March 10th meeting. I'm sorry? I will not be at the March the March 10th. Okay. I will be away that week. Okay. Um, Fred mentioned the center school survey is available. And there's some hard copies, there's some print copies yes. out in the front if anybody needs that. Yeah. Nice um, <coughs> um, <coughs> my nominations, so these are nominations for the different insurance committees that we usually just ignore, but if we want to uh -huh. nominate anybody, we're welcome to. Um, are you looking for a nomination, no. Brian? Would no. you like to be nominated? No, I would, I would not like to be nominated. Okay. Right. Oh, then, then we should. <laughs> the boss is a little far, but I think you're happy. Well, yeah, Did you get lunch on him or something? I don't know. You get mileage now. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that's but true. it's at a lower rate. My, so I'll be driving my credit card. <laughs> Take all the money out of it. Um, uh, supplemental Chapter 90 funds were received. Yay. In the amount of $14,481. $14, that was from the supplemental 2019 state, state budget that was passed. We should also be getting additional CPA funds as well um, through that process, uh, through the supplemental budget bill. Um, we did not get the municipal ADA improvement grant for the lift, 
and the accessibility improvements. So not, yeah. not a entirely. I'm not entirely shocked that that's yeah. the case. It's a small amount of money, and it's statewide, and it's not necessarily a competitive application. But we tried. Um, let's skip over that one for a second. Annual reports. Um, Amy's asking that those be submitted January by January 28th. I'm sure other reminders will come out about that. And then the last item would be um, special town meeting. Yeah. And I'm wondering, <coughs> I'm thinking sometime in late February. It's not that there's sort of one item that's pushing it, but yeah. um, I have a list of you know 10 or 11 items that we should probably address. Right. I got it here tentatively as the 12th. We had to sort of put either uh, January 29th or February 12th as possibilities, but of course we also have a meeting on the 26th of February, 29th of January. Sorry. Uh, so right. you're saying we won't make? Uh, yeah, we're not going to make the 29th. 29th no. Uh, so, and I think the 12th. That would be a little too early. Yeah. The, the trouble we run into is the 26th doesn't work for when in terms of voter registration. Um, so. I mean, it's possible we could go into March. Again, there's not. Okay, so March 11th? Well, again, I won't be here, but I'd feel free to do it without me. Hey, John, are you looking for a special time? Yeah. yeah. March vacation. School vacation. What's school vacation? Oh, the 19th. Oh, I should. I, 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 the 19th is school vacation. Uh, March? Of oh, February. Right. If we were to adjust this, right. Right. and let me check real quick. When is um, I may be going for Smith's spring fish, so I want to look up what that is if we're going to do the special time meeting. Jonathan, are you away the week of February seventeenth? No, I'm here for that. That's not our school. That's that doesn't apply to me. That's fine. Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. Okay. So that week of March is the only. The 14th to the 22nd. So I would be here for the March 11th. If we, did, if we were to go as far as March 11th. It's the week after that. Spring break for me. Well, then you're only one. So we're expecting a function annual. Yeah, I mean, these are items that I wouldn't want to. And the 26th doesn't work for Lynn, and Lynn has to be there because it's a special time meeting. The voter registration. So she has to hold voter registration. Oh, a certain number of weeks. Yeah, a certain number of weeks, and she's going to be gone that first week in February, so it. I see. So. What's so bad about having it on a night that we don't have a regularly scheduled select board meeting? I mean, the participants have to come out on their own, so. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, I, that's true as long as it doesn't land up on one of our finance committee meetings. On the 19th of February, or the 20th. We could do the 19th. The, the 19th is a possibility. Yeah. The 20th is a possibility. Yeah. That's school vacation week. Um, in March, in February, but yeah, yeah. It's, and there's not a lot of school-related things. I don't feel like we're trying to pull a fast one on anyone. Are you planning to go away? Because that's the important. Um, there is tentatively, and I can miss it. Doesn't matter. Um, a SCEMS meeting scheduled for the twentieth. Thursday. That's six. Right. The 19th is a Wednesday, I'd rather keep on Wednesdays. And, and I don't know that there's any... And then I need the work for Lynn because that that voter registration happens the week yeah, before. The week before. Um, and then the question is, do we meet on the 12th or the 26th? Or a regular select board meeting, do we shift one of those? Or do we meet once in February? It's a short month. Because <coughs> we are meeting a lot with the budget. Well, yes. and, and if there's, uh, my thinking was that if there's any pressing item that comes up, you can always post an agenda for the 
right before the joint budget meeting if we deal with something. Um, Let's just have a select board meeting on the 19th then. Yeah. February 19th. And, and aim for the special town meeting as well then. Yeah. Okay. So no 19 or no 12 or 26? No. Although it is, although it is always nice to have a meeting on a woman's actual birthday. Oh, yeah, true. It's good government and all. All right, so I'll, I'll okay. check with the necessary people, or outgoing moderator and Lynn, and make sure that date works. Okay. Then we'll be in the 19th. Deal with items as they come up, or if we need to, we'll meet with the finance committee. So that means we meet for regular meetings, we get the 29th and then the, the 19th, 29th of January, the 19th of February. Okay. Okay. If uh, some, depending on what happens next week in Castaways, are we going to need to meet? No. Talk about it done? Only if you want to. It's done is done. Okay. Well, I don't they, know. They, they, and they might get it done by the 14th oh, right. and, uh, and not be out of compliance. They could, uh, they're out of compliance. We should definitely have someone checking. Uh, if we don't know positively, you know, by the, presumably during the day on the 15th that they're in compliance, then we should be having our officers checked to see if they're open or not. Thank you. I will. Yeah. And if they are, do we have to schedule the hearing, or, do, or can Brian do that on his, on his own? Do we need to meet to schedule that hearing? hearing? Um, do we need to hold a meeting to send a notice to Brian? I don't know. I'd have to check to see if we need to. Right. Well, we can always the board throw something together. To meet right. to, to send a notice yeah, to Brian. I, huh? I would be surprised if. I would be surprised if they risk that. Yeah, I think they. I, I will. Any requests that I get from them or permission I get from them, I'll forward it along. And if, if they choose to be out of compliance, I will not be able to follow that. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Okay. I would entertain a motion then to adjourn. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.